Hi guys, welcome back to the React Chase video tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the should component update lifecycle method. So these are some key points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will learn about some theory part of the should component update method. Then we will make a child component and after that we will make a example with the should component update and this example cover the props and state both. All right, so uh, let's start with the first question what is the should component update so this is basically a life cycle method uh, in the react and it will always invoke before the render method right so in your class component if you write the uh, component should update method it will always call before the render method and if you want to stop that the your uh, render method should not be rendered then you can return false from here all right if you return false from it then the render method is not going to work for a next time all right and if you return true then your method will be rendered all right and the render uh, return should is this is the compulsory in this component all right so for example i'm not, not going to render it then uh, then it will give an error inside the console and i'll show you an example after the few uh, after the few moments all right and what is the benefit of it so let's say sometime your previous state and the next state is equal on the button click and in this case if the state is equal means the state is not changed on the button click you don't want that your render component is rendered again so in this method you can stop it conditionally and i will show you in the example the same case the props and the states all right so now let's start with the code part so first of all i'm just going to remove it for a moment and i'm just going to define a constructor because i need states and for the state i need a super method as well as state so this dot state is uh, i'm just going to take some data and data is zero at the starting all right so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to make a button here in the button click i'm just going to update the state so just right here update state here and on the button click i'm just going to write here some code on click and here I'm just going to update the state so here this dot set state just write here data colon it will be increased always by one this dot state dot data plus one all right and I'm just going to print it inside the uh, with the child com column so i'm just going to write here this dot state dot data and let's check it on the browser so initially this is zero whenever i'm just going to click you can see that this is going to be update every time all right so just write the spell here okay so now i'm just going to make a should component update method and whenever i'm just going to put it here and I'm just going to click here then you can see the warning home dot should component update return undefined instead of a boolean value that means this method must be written a true or false value all right so I'm just going to uh, comment for you while it and just going to console something here like rendered inside render all right so I'm whenever I'm just going to pass on I'm just click on the button you can see that this method is always called but sometimes this is not be important all right so let's say I'm not going to update the state I'm always passing the same state so first value is one and on the button click this value is not going to be changed but here you can see that the render method is calling every time so this is going to be uh, problem with the improvement uh, with the performance of react so how we can resolve it so for that 
here I'm just going to write here previous props this component I'm not, not going to use for a while and this component I'm just going to use this dot state and I'm just going to write here first of all I'm just going to console dot warn uh, previous state right so what is the previous state and just going to return true for a while and just going to back with the uh, increment the state then whenever you just going to click then you will see the data is called before the render and you can see this data all right so if I'm just going to write here if and I'm not just going to put it here if previous state not equal to this dot state dot data to write here data if they are both are not equal then it will return true else it will return false so I can just put it uh, okay just make it like this and just return false here but I'm not not going to update anything in the state because in the state I'm just going to put the same value then this sh state should not be updated every time and I'm just going to click here and you can see that whenever I'm just going to click here it's not going to be update and in the false if I'm just going to return here true then let's see every time this is going to be increase so this method is going to be improve your uh, react performance and the one more case then you can just check that plus three uh, plus one every time all right so I'm just going to check that if this dot state this is equal equal to three then it will be return false else it will return true all right so I'm just going to write here first third and it's not going on the fourth whenever I'm just going to click it's directly go to the five because I just check the condition here because after three it will not going to be update all right and this same case you can apply with the props also all right and if you just use the previous state dot data then it will hang it out just one step before As you can see that you got on the fourth because this method is called before the render and same thing you can do with the props so let's check what's coming inside the props okay so I'm just going to click inside this the data is coming all right so I'm just going to write here to data equal to test okay then it will return false every time so let's check dot data I'm just going to be checked once more it's in test all right so you can see that if this is say the test then it will not going to be updated 